Hey guys, Hyler Tamerlane back with more Obscurities in Miniature, and today we're going to take a look at the generic Azure Knight for Kingdom Death. If I can open the box. There we go. So, the Azure Knight, despite being quite the cat-looking cat girl with her ears, ooh, I did get a first run. I'd forgotten completely because I have a million other Kingdom Death models that need to be built first. So, for an Azure Knight, she's not very Azure. She's awfully white, but whatever. Kitty cat white. So, in the box, because that's the most important stuff, vases as always. Sadly, not a custom scenic base, but beggars can't be choosers here. Survivors can't be choosers is what I should have said. Quite a few parts for such a tiny young lady. So, she's got a big honking sword, scabbard here. Oh my god, don't tell me we have individual ears. That's not going to be cool. I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh, shoot. Is that the tip of the tail? This is the tip of the tail. Or what's on the scabbard, I should say, or the hilt. See, there's the tail for it. Oh, boy. All right, there's your dagger. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Tiny heel. Contorted body. At least we do have everything kind of locked in. I don't know why there's a B there. I was assuming there's... Wait, what? Okay, that's that's weird. I was not aware of that. I have an A1 and a B1. What is the difference? Are you guys seeing a difference? I am not seeing a difference. Same slit in the skirt, same pose. Oh, okay, okay. The legs. This leg is bent, this leg is straight. That's weird. Head is nicely sculpted. Here's the cloak. I really don't get that. What What's going on? Do I have all the parts in? I have both arms. Why are there two bodies? I, I'm I'm at a loss here. Okay, you know I think I'm gonna have to go run online and check what's up before I start trying to put her together because that's really bizarre. That is really weird. Is it the same leg? Let's find out. So that one will go like that. <laughs> and then... That one goes like that. Okay. I think I need to contact the Dark Mediator because this looks weird. And yes, people, sometimes things like this do happen. I don't know. This is absolutely bizarre. I have never seen that happening before. Oh, well. All right, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll see what's up with that. I'm going to stop and go online and see if I have everything I'm supposed to. And if I do, then I will finish this. Otherwise, this video is getting binned and you're getting contacted. And here we have it, folks. Our Azure Knight is finished, and it is amazing that it is precariously balanced the way it is and still standing all on its own accord. She has a gigantic freaking sword and a scabbard that I question whether or not it actually can hold that. This model gave me a good run for my money in terms of patience. This hair snapped off. This tail of the sword is a separate piece, and I've broken it at least two or three times. Her dagger kept wanting to slide off. It just... Things did not want to cooperate, which is sad because I really like the model. I like her pose, and it's just kind of different. Even my daughter liked it, and usually she says that my Kingdom Death models are inappropriate and blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> this one this one just did not want to cooperate with me. I don't get it. It really reminded me on just in terms of how to put it together, our Blade Dancer. I think that was it. The white, white, white Speaker Seeker Blade. I don't know what the hell she's called anymore. I'll look it up and put it in the notes. But anyway... A similar thing where she's precariously balanced on one foot and a blade. So, similar thing going on here. 
I really did enjoy it, and I still have no idea what this extra chest was for. I think it was a different bust size, and I don't know if that was really necessary, and as far as I know, this is the only Kingdom Death figure that has two different chest sizes. Otherwise, because I mean, like, you can see there's like a little difference in the textures between the breasts, and there's none on this model. I, I have no idea. I, I got no clue. And there's nothing on the website about that either, and I can't find any conversations about that. So if you know anything about it, hey, let me know, because I'm just, for my own curiosity and peace of mind, I would love to know what the deal was. So, I have no idea how I'm going to get her attached to a base. I'm assuming one little drop of glue on that foot and one little drop of glue on that sword point. But, ah, oh man, I don't know. I, I Maybe I'll try pinning her anyway, just a teeny tiny pin like I did like on the Sci-Fi Savior. I can't figure it out, because it's a cool little model, and I really look forward to painting her, but hopefully I'll figure that out. You guys have any suggestions? By all means, let me know, because I'm scratching my head on this one. Cool model, questionable how I'm going to get it all put together. That said, I'm going to let you guys all go. This is High Lord Tamberlane once again saying see you later. Check out some of our other videos. We'll be here. Bye-bye.